everybody and welcome to your next uh xna platformer tutorial uh so uh, uh it's been a while since i looked at this code but um i generally uh remember where we left off so we left off uh f by creating our, our 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 menu items uh but there's no input or anything so we got a menu displayed and there's a lot of things that we got to do to edit our menu items and I'm going to try to go over them as quickly as possible because a lot of people want to get into the gameplay specific stuff. But the thing about uh, game programming is that game programming isn't all fun, right? Uh, when you're programming softwares or games or anything, you have to set up the back end stuff before this, the front end stuff. It's much like even if you look at a website, right? When you look at, say, Google, or even if you look at my site or whatever, it looks nice and elegant, right? That is a front end. But the whole operations of the site and stuff is handling, it's being handled from the back end. So you need to set up the back end before you can do all the pretty stuff. Or if you do the pretty stuff first, then your game, you won't be that flexible. You won't have that variety. So anyways, uh, let me zoom in here. Okay, so I just added in some regions in my menu manager class just to make it a bit uh, cleaner and I just kind of like arrange the code to make it a bit cleaner. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add an input manager. And uh, what we got to do is we got to create an instance of the input manager right there. Okay, so we created an instance of the input manager, and what we got to do now is, uh, we depending when we look at our menus, uh, we have our axis right. So one means it's horizontal, so in a horizontal axis. Two means it's on a vertical axis. Okay, so in our update method, we got to say that if axis is equal to one uh, then we do a set of uh, stuff so we can say input manager uh, key pressed and we can get I don't know if we included keys the input class I mean the input namespace I mean so we gotta say using Microsoft .framework .input. okay so scroll back down so you make a call to keys dot uh right or or we can put yeah let's put a param so we say keys dot right or keys dot d so if they press either one of the two keys uh then we're gonna increase our item number by one now i don't know if i included item number in the last tutorial uh yeah i, I did so we know that item number means the actual item that we're highlighting, right? The current number that we're on. So we're gonna have an else if, and we're gonna say if input manager dot key pressed is keys left or is keys a, and then we say item number minus minus. Okay. So now we gotta have an else. So if the axis is equal to two. And that's our current axis. So we can copy this if you want, or you can retype it. It's up to you. I'll copy it for the sake of time. Uh, so if they press down or if they press S, then it increases. And if they press up or they press W, then it decreases. So now with uh we, we gotta check we gotta have a limit on how high or how low the item number can be or else we'll get a unhandled an exception error. So we'll say that if item number is less than zero, then we set it to zero. And we'll say that else if item number is greater than uh menu items or menu images uh dot count uh minus one. And then item number is equal to menu items dot count minus one and the reason why we do count minus one is because uh, remember it starts from zero and then uh, but the count is letting us know how much items are in there so for example if we have 10 items in menu items then it'll, the count will be equal to 10 but remember because it's like uh, lists are like arrays it starts from zero and goes all the way to nine so we have to say uh, menu items count minus one hopefully you understand that uh, so if we run this code right now, uh, 
we should compile this and run this. Hopefully, if everything goes right, we should get uh, the correct input. But I feel like I'm missing something. So, yes, the one thing we're missing is that we need to be able to, uh, what is it? Uh, let's open up the input manager class. There was a method, I believe, that we had to call from before. Let's see. Update. Yes. So that is the method that we got to call from before. And uh, update. And let's run this. So if we press down, we can scroll down through the menu items. Uh, if we press uh, W or S, we can scroll through the menu items. I don't know why it's not scrolling through the second or third one. Uh, let's check the rest of our code to see if, uh, what, where we're going wrong. Uh, so, uh, we set it for our menu items. We said that it increases. Uh, we set it that if item number is equal to I, then it should increase, it. uh, active is equal to true. It should update, uh, let me pause this and let me figure out the problem. Okay, so I'm now in fadeanimation.cs and there was a small little flaw in the way that we designed our uh, stop uh, in, in our update method in fade animation. So right here, what we want to do is say stop updating is equal to false. Now, why do you want to do that? Now, say um, we are in this if statement right now, and we said stop updating is equal to true, right? But then we switched the, say we switched the menu item before timer equals um, the total seconds equals to zero, right? Then we're never going to st stop updating the true. So once we go back to our menu item again, then stop updating is going to be equal to true, and therefore it's not going to be able to get inside um, our right here and then therefore it won't be able to execute the fade animation uh, so when we run this uh, everything should run smoothly now and let me zoom out so oh sorry I, I set break points just to set uh, just to see stuff so uh, it runs smoothly just like it should okay so um I, I would end the tutorial there, but uh, there's some there's a better way that we can handle uh, the input. So if we go to our title screen, because that's where our input is. So we know by default that we already get an input manager, right? And we already call input manager update. So why create another input manager inside our menu, inside our menu manager class? Why do that? Why call input manager update twice? Why not we just use one input manager? So what we should do is in our menu manager, in our update method, uh, what we should do is take in an input manager and uh, we should delete the current one that we have. So move this and move this. So all we got to do in our title screen is we just got to place in the input manager there. So we already called the update. So then we can already um, take in the single key presses and it should work the same way. And we'll test it out just to make sure. Uh, so I'm pressing it and while I'm pressing the button, uh, nothing's going on. And uh, the reason being, I believe, on why it's not going down is uh, what we should do is let's see if setting a reference to it will make it. Oh, no. What we're going to what we do is call. Let's see if erasing this is going to make a difference. And if not, then we'll see if putting a reference to it will make a difference. And then we'll see why after. So as we can see, we don't need to create a reference to it. 
So uh, what we were doing is that uh, we were recalling update again, which is not what we initially wanted to do. So we only need to call update once. And uh, if you were to, uh, a calling a reference to something is if you're really gonna change its value. So I don't, we're not really changing any value in the input manager class. So we don't really need to put a reference to it. I was just saying that maybe I kind of really looked through the code a while uh, for a while, so maybe we needed to call it, uh, but evidently we don't need to do it. So that is it for the tutorial. So we now we got our menu functionality down, and the next tutorial we're gonna look on aligning our menus and stuff so we get the perfect alignment that we want. So uh, that is it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for all the mistakes, but thanks for watching and bye.